Hey everyone, thank you for watching. Today's video I'm so excited to do. It is going to be a trying new makeup and getting this look right here. So I have a few new products to test out. The new tinted sunscreen from Tower 28. I have a new mascara from ColourPop. Also a new face duo from Sigma Beauty that released in their holiday collection. And then I also purchased the Dirty Martini palette from Glam Light. So I was really excited to put together a green look today. So if you wanna see how I got this look and trying new makeup, let's go ahead and get started. Hello. Welcome. All right. So I am just going to clip my bangs back. Try not to clip my ear like I normally do. And we will get started. So um, I always film the intros afterwards, so I never really know what I say, but I probably told you the products I'm going to be using. So I don't have like a full face today, but that's okay because, you know, hopefully it will help it move a little bit quicker. Um, but I'm going to use the e.l.f. Poreless Potty Primer. I mentioned this in my last Project Pan uh, video. I mentioned that I did hit the bottom of it. So I'm just trying to see how much I'm using up now. So I'll link that one up in the cards if you haven't seen it. Because I go over some products that I have panned recently or used all the way up. And then I added in some new products that I also want to pan. So I'm just going to go ahead and use this first. I'm going to do my face and then my eyes like I normally do. All right, the first new product, I'm really excited to try this out because I was very curious about it. I didn't know it was coming to me in PR. I had it added to my loves list on Sephora. But this is from Tower 28. This is their Sunny Days Broad Spectrum SPF 30 Tinted Sunscreen. I love SPF. I live in the desert. I'm always wearing my SPF. And uh, I like products like this. Tinted moisturizers, you know, lightweight foundations. I'm super into that even still as we move into the fall. So when Tower 28 released this, I immediately was curious about it. So they sent over this one in 45 Silver Lake, um, which is for tan with neutral undertones, I believe. So hopefully the shade match will be okay. So this retails for $30. Uh, it's a two-in-one fragrance-free mineral sunscreen foundation with SPF 30 light medium buildable coverage uh, Safe for sensitive or problem skin. So uh, a lot of times with a tinted sunscreen I do just use my fingers to apply it I've I used to really hate applying anything with my fingers and now I really don't mind it and I, I apply a lot with my fingers I'm completely a changed person. So it just comes like this so I'm just gonna put a little bit in my hands here and then blend it in. And we'll see, I'll try it different ways. So it's very, very liquidy if you can see. I'll definitely try it different ways. I have the M Cosmetics Cushion Tinted Sunscreen and that, um, I mean, it's a little bit different because it's in the cushion, you know, aspect. I do like to use a sponge, but I'll try it different ways just to see. Okay, so this is definitely very tan, which you can see, oh, uh, okay. All right, so we're gonna have to do some blending onto the neck here. Hmm. This might be a very interesting shade matching experience experiment today. <laughs> I was this tan not too long ago, but um, you know, we've had some chillier days in Vegas and I feel like my tan really, uh, whoo there it went. So I was actually just talking to a couple girls here about like our favorite self tanners and that sort of thing or spray tanning you know in Iowa it's funny because like when the fall and winter came it was like cool now we wear pants and sweatpants and snowsuits and don't leave our house because it's so cold whereas in Vegas it's like yes it gets chillier but you can still wear especially if you're going out you know skirts and dresses and all of the things so I'm like um I'm gonna have to keep my tan but uh, there's plenty of self tanners that I enjoy but I'm just gonna have to be very uh, faithful to them please don't go in tanning beds Please, please don't go in tanning pants. Okay, so I took my time, you know, really worked it into the skin. I I don't think that's too bad. I mean, you know, I blended it onto my neck. I feel like, I feel like that's actually gonna be okay because my body is more tan than both my face and my neck. It's so funny to me because a lot of times people say I want to match my foundation to my neck. I am such a stickler about putting SPF on my neck also. And I still, like, I hate that you can see the lines, especially on the left side where, you know, you drive and the sun is hitting you it drives me batty. So I actually want my face and neck to match because I'm putting SPF on both and then try to match the rest of my body, if that makes sense. But I feel like I did a pretty good job. Um, that's actually really pretty. Hold on, let me grab a mirror so I can look close up. I actually think this looks really pretty. Okay, I might have to grab another shade. Like I said, I was planning to buy this for myself because I like Tower 28. Wow, I'm, hold on, I'm I'm actually like really impressed right now because I do like Tower 28. Like I said, I like these kind of products. 
I think that looks really good. It blended so easily, even with my fingers. I would say this gave me a light, a light coverage, maybe light, light medium, if you will. But you know, you can see that I still, you know, I, I struggle with acne and breakouts and redness and it kind of just evened everything out. You know, I'm still going to use concealer on some of the larger breakout areas, but it also gave my skin kind of this this kind of more dewier glow i would say it's not overly dewy i do have combo skin i literally i just got a facial today and she confirmed i have combo skin i would say it's not like overly dewy it just kind of is that healthy glow wow i i this is first impression who knows in 10 minutes it could be like completely you know coming off my face I would say maybe if you're oily, I'm kind of thinking that this might not be your absolute best bet. But especially to apply with my fingers, I think that this looks really nice. Wow. Okay. You know, I, I will always review everything. I think after I finish filming, I think I'm going to do like a Sephora follow-up video. I always come back to review new products that I'm testing out or hauling. You know, I do a monthly ranking every month too with any makeup that I have, re uh, have been trying out and reviewing. But... I'm excited to give this a try. This is one that off first bat, I'm like, I might buy another shade that would be a little bit better for when I'm not quite as tan, but ooh, starting off strong, okay. Okay, so since it's a little bit darker for me, I'm gonna use a lighter concealer and just try to, you know, mix and match and make sure we're all looking good. But first I am going to come in with my Milk Hydro Grip uh, eye primer so you can use this on the eyelids to hold on to your eyeshadow or it's actually um, good to use on your under eyes before you use your concealer so this the last time I did a trying new makeup I completely spaced I forgot to use it I felt like such a dummy I used it in my members only video which my members only video for October what is winning right now is cleaning my closet and I feel some type of way I mean I'm the person that put the poll up I'm the one that comes up with the ideas or like I see your comments and then I, I, I put them up. My closet is a disaster. It's Maybe it's for the best that my members are voting to see that one so I actually I can force myself to clean my closet. I'm terrified to do this but that's what's winning right now so that might be the October video. Oh my gosh, that's gonna be a disaster. But if you're interested in memberships, I always have a link down below. I have a couple different tiers. I do live chats, all the things. We have a book club. It's super fun if you want to join the Sam Squad. But um, I am going to use this. So I used this in my last members only video, so at least I could show them. But I wanted to make sure to use it today. So I just do a little bit on the under eye area here and blend it out. And I've actually been really impressed with this. There's a few, like I reviewed the Lancome Tinty Dull New Concealer. Then I just dab it out with a finger. I reviewed that in my last makeup monthly video and I said it's a little bit of a drier concealer but if I use the Milk Hydro Grip, it just kind of smooths everything out and makes your concealer go on top just really flawlessly uh, and it really does hold on to place. Like I feel like because I do have fine lines and wrinkles on my under eyes and sometimes by the end of the night, especially if I've been wearing my makeup all day, I can notice my concealer, you know, starting to look a little worse for wear. You can start to see those wrinkles and fine lines even more. I feel like when I use the Milk Hydro Grip, things stay smoother for a longer period of time, which I very much enjoy. So I'm going to do a little bit of a mixture. I'm going to do the Lancome on the areas that I want to cover, and I have the shade Buff for this one. And then I'm going to use the CoverGirl Undercover Concealer on my under eyes because it's a little bit lighter. And, uh, you know, hopefully we can kind of get the shade match, you know, where I want it to be. My poor CoverGirl Undercover, this has been in my second bathroom, which I don't really use. I have a double vanity in my master, and um, that's where I have like my regular sink, and then I have my makeup sink with like my ring light, and I do filming there and all of the things. But I never really use a second bathroom, like the shower's never been used and all of that. But I have, you know, hand soap and a towel in there. I was doing laundry the other day, and I grabbed the towel, and this was underneath, and I was like, how long has that been there? Because <laughs> like I said, I never use that bathroom, so I very rarely like wash the towels because I'm never in there. But the other day I did and I was like, how long has that been concealer hiding under in there? <laughs> because it's been a while since I've used that one and I checked my concealer declutter and it wasn't in there because it was hiding under it. I was like, wow, Samantha. So I've been trying to use my cover girl because I really do like that concealer and I feel really bad that it uh, disappeared for a while there. So, you know. 
that's my bad. So I'm just gonna use a little bit of this. It matches more of my skin tone. So again, I think I'm gonna use like a little bit more liberally than I probably have to. Um, like normally I wouldn't do this much, but again, we're just gonna try to shade match a little bit better because I think I am going out to dinner tonight. I think I'm going to dinner tonight, so. Okay. I'm just gonna use this little Eco Tools like stippling brush to blend everything out. I'm gonna do the concealer on my eyelid also. That's normally what I do versus like the eye primer. And I'm just gonna kind of lightly tap over the the, um, the other concealer places because I'm gonna come in with my Dior powder and then it kind of everything just blends in all together. So I'm just gonna tap a little bit and bring a little bit onto the neck again. Kind of more for shade matching, but trying to make it work. And then I'm gonna use the Charlotte Tilbury powder to set on my under eyes using a Real Techniques setting brush. And then, as always, you've seen me do this so many times. Look at my Dior powder. <laughs> I really need to get to Sephora and get another one. And I use the BK Beauty 105. This is probably my favorite brush to use with the Dior powder. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add this right on top. So I finished up my powder, I did my brows, I just used the Goof Proof, and I just used some of the bronzer from the Jouer Champagne and Macarons palette. I pulled this out when I did my face palette declutter and I was like, wait, I need to use this more. So I've been using this one quite a bit. So I just did a little bit of bronzer since the uh, tinted uh, sunscreen is, you know, a few shades too darker for me. I just did a little bit of bronzing like on the outer parts of my face, but I have a face duo from Sigma that I wanna try. So Sigma did send over their holiday collection, which, which has the Magnifique palette. And I just, I have a lot of eyeshadow palettes right now. I just got my one in today from uh, Odin's Eye, the collab with Annette's Makeup Corner. So I'm so excited about that one. You know, I've gotten the Retro palette, the Sigma Cinderella palette. I bought the Huda Beauty Jaguar palette. I bought the Glam Light palette. So I couldn't use the Sigma palette today, but I was wearing it in my last Will I Buy It video. It was a purple eye look, super pretty. And I am planning to use it a few more times so I can review it. But they also came out with this face duo and I tend to really like um, Sigma's face duos or uh, cheek products. So I decided to pull this one in here. So this is the Berry Glow Cheek, Cheek Duo. Comes with a highlighter, a blush, and then also a travel brush. All right, so this is what the Berry Glow looks like. So you have the blush and the highlight. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the blush first. I'm gonna use one of the Sigma and Beauty Bird uh, brushes. And I'm just gonna tap a little bit of blush on. I did also use a setting spray. I used the Urban Decay uh, All Nighter setting spray. So I am just going to tap the blush on before I move over and start in on the eyes. I tend to go pretty hard with my blush at first because it's, you know, it's one of the first things that fades. And then even just as I do my makeup, a lot of times I'll come back with like my powder brush and I'll kind of run everything over. So I always look a little clownish maybe in the beginning when I use my blush, but by the end, everything works itself out. So like I said, I did purchase the Glam Light Dirty Martini palette. I thought about getting this and the purple one, but again, because I have so many eyeshadow palettes and I only have two eyes, there's only so much I can do. Um, I decided to just go with the Dirty Martini. This is the green palette and this was just like, it was too hard for me to pass up. I think this is beautiful. The shades inside, I feel like there's so many different looks that I can do with this one. And I'm really excited. I don't think I've tried a whole ton from Glam Light. I can't really think of anything off the top of my head that I've tried, to be honest. But I'm excited for it. And I love, honestly, this was a selling point for me too. I think that this is so cool. I definitely want to like display this somewhere. And it's so funny because I posted this on my Instagram stories. I first posted this and then I posted the inside of the palette. And one of my friends here at the complex commented and was like, I did not think that was makeup, <laughs> but I thought it was really funny. So I definitely want to display this because I think that's so freaking cool. Uh, so I am going to be using this palette and I think what I want to do today is a Halo Y. The two shades I really want to try are Garnish right here and then also Olive Lover. So these are the two that I am thinking of using for today. <gasps> like I just like, yes, like let's, oh, yes. Let us use these. So first up for the halo, I'm gonna use the Sigma E44, one of my favorite brushes from Sigma. And I'm first going to jump into Garnish and I am going to pop this right on the outer part of my eye and then on the very inner part 
of my eye. Zoom in a little bit closer so you can see the eye action happening. Start a little something like that. I love doing halo eyes because I think that they're so easy to do and you don't have to be like quite as precise. I just kind of keep building and blending and layering and all of the things until I finally decide that I enjoy it. There's a point in life where I hated applying makeup with my fingers. I hated green eyeshadow. I don't know what has happened here. I'm gonna take a little bit of Olive Lover. I kinda just wanna, see, I just wanna use my finger. I'm gonna use a brush first because sometimes that helps with a little bit more precise placement. So I'm gonna use this Sigma E55 and grab Olive Lover dry brush here. And I'm gonna go ahead and pop this in the center of the lid. I will say like if I'm doing something where I kind of want you know this to be more in the center of the lid I'll tend to use a brush because sometimes with my finger it just gets a little bit you know kind of all over the place if I'm using something like a ColourPop Super Shock and I'm just using that on the lid I'll typically use my fingers and just kind of you know go ham everywhere but oh this is fun I'm having a great time already with this palette I'm so excited for this to do some really fun looks in here I just feel like this color scheme is calling to me. And I, I love purple eyeshadow, but I also have a lot of purple palettes. So that's why I decided to just go with this one. And I do not think I'm gonna be regretting this decision. That is so beautiful. All right, and then I'm gonna come back with the E44. I have no extra product, but I'm just gonna kind of blend and work on getting the shape that I want. Woo-wee. I am feeling this. I got just a tad bit of fallout. So I'm, I'm looking for a brush to wipe that away. But just, I mean, barely any, barely any at all. So I'm just going to dust that away. That was super simple, super fast to do. I'm loving it. I'm just gonna grab some Demolition Eyeliner from Urban Decay. Sometimes I would do green on green on green on green, but I wanna do just a little bit of brown in my waterline. Lower lash line, I think I'm gonna mix a little bit of dry vermouth and also extra dirty on a Refer 23 brush and then just blend that along the lower lash line. I wanted to do a, something a little bit darker. I thought about using um, dry vermouth on the lid, which I'm sure that I will do, but I thought with this combo, I wanted to go ahead and use garnish, but ooh, this is really pretty. These shadows are super easy to use. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, and then I wanna do just maybe like a little bit of on the rocks in the inner corner, just for like a little something something. This is the Sigma E59. I just wanna use so many shades in here, that's why I'm like trying to <laughs> use so many. But I think that they're so pretty. Yeah, we're just gonna do a little pop in the inner corner here. All right, so that is it for the eyes. Loving. That was super easy. Loving how they turned out. Let's finish off with mascara. I have a new one. So this is from ColourPop. This is their Level Up Lengthening Mascara. When did they come out with this? I was opening PR packages today and I was like, um... Okay, that's interesting. Oh wait, this one is in brown. Let me see if there's a black. They sent a black and also a burgundy. I like to use black for my mascara. So I have no idea when they released this. I don't remember talking about this mascara. I don't remember seeing this mascara. I don't, I'm, but okay, we're gonna try it out. So it's a lengthening mascara. So here is what the wand looks like. All right, so I'm gonna add it to my top and bottom lashes. Okay, so this is one coat over here. So off the, bat, off the bat, I can tell it is a more dry mascara, but I don't know. Also off the bat, I don't think it's gonna turn into a favorite. I just don't feel like it's really doing a lot for the lashes. Um, I usually like a mascara that can kind of like do it all, which I've recently found in like the Rare Beauty Mascara, the Wildless Beauty Mascara, the Maybelline Sky High. I really like those where it's like length, volume, curl makes them darker doesn't transfer this i just feel like it's kind of hard to work it through the lashes like it kind of feels like the wand keeps getting like stuck on my lashes i don't know there's two coats i just feel like it's not going to be enough 
drama for what I tend to prefer in my mascaras. Um, if you'd want, I did do uh, a recent beauty battle video where I put two products head to head and then tell you which one that I would um, recommend if you were only buying one. And I have four different mascaras in there. So two different battles with mascaras, a high end, and then also a drugstore battle. So we'll also link that one up in the cards. So eyes are done. I'm going to come back into that Sigma duo and then use the brush that it came with and apply some of the sizzle highlights just to the tops of my cheekbones. Sigma has really beautiful highlighters also. And then a little bit to my nose. Wow, that's a that's a really intense highlighter actually. Okay, I'm just gonna do a little bit of blending with my finger there, and then I kind of want to use um, a little bit of this highlight just for the brow bone, just because I don't want to I didn't want to do like green on the brow, but I think that'll make for a nice brow bone highlight. Okay. And then we just have to finish off with the lips. I'm gonna use the Kitten Lip Liner from M Cosmetics and then the uh, Cover Star Lipstick from Charlotte Tilbury and just go for a nude moment. It's really like nothing I ever do, so get prepared. <laughs> And after the lip, this is the finished look. So that is it for today's video, trying out some new makeup. So to go through the products, um, you know, I've been pretty impressed with this. Once again, I've kind of noticed sitting here, I feel like it's a little bit more of a dewier product. So again, I'm wondering if oily skin might not love this one so much. But of course, I really wanna see how it lasts throughout the day. I wanna try it more times and try to apply it different ways and all of the things and just see how it goes. But off the bat, I'm really, I'm really pretty impressed with it. You know, the shade match was a little bit off, but we made it work. And then um, for I know for the Milk Hydro Grip, I know it wasn't like necessarily part of the new, new products, but I really have been enjoying this one, especially if you struggle with concealer, um, you know, kind of sticking around on the other, on your under eyes or staying smooth all throughout the night. This might be a good product to try. I've been pretty impressed with it. And it's different from anything that I have. And I've tried a lot of different tips and tricks for getting your concealer to stay or getting your powder to not look too powdery or settle into lines. And I have to say like, this is what's doing it for me. So, and I don't have to do like a ton of different steps. I can just apply this and I think it's been working really well for me. The ColourPop mascara, I, I mean, I don't mind it. Maybe on days where I just like need a little something something, but even for this look, like I wish I had like the Rare Beauty on or something to make my lashes a little bit more dramatic to go along with a more dramatic eye look. But I'll be curious, you know, how will it hold up? Will it transfer? We will just see. Again, I'll be reviewing everything as shortly as I can. Um, the Dirty Martini palette, I'm really liking it. You know, I just used a few shades today. I did kind of a more simple eye look for me, but I really like how everything worked. Uh, the shades were super easy to work with. When I did some swatches, like the mattes, it seemed really, really creamy and the, um, the shimmer was so easy to use. So I'm excited to do some more looks. I'll probably do another one on my Instagram, which is March Beauty Word. So I'll probably pop up a tutorial over there. And then for the Sigma Duo, I really like these. They have quite a few different options. A lot of times when they do um, different collections, they'll release you know some sort of duo. And I, I typically end up liking the quality. So the blush and the highlight I thought was really nice. I also do really like the eyeshadow palette from this collection. And I do have a code with them. It is Samantha if you'd be interested in checking anything out from them. But that is it for today's video, trying out some new makeup products, getting this look right here. I hope that you enjoyed it. Definitely let me know what you think in the comments. And as always, if you did enjoy it, make sure to give it a thumbs up. I hope you also consider subscribing before you go, and I'll see you in my next video.